Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make a universal remote controller which can be used to control any of your devices. So without wasting time, let's quickly get started with this video. So for this project, you will need an Arduino, a IR receiver, IR LED, push button or you can say a tactile button, resistors of 1k ohms and 100 ohms, breadboard and some wires. This is the circuit diagram of IR receiver. With this, we will receive the hexadecimal values of our remote buttons. So after connecting all the wires, connect it to your computer. Open examples, IR remote and open dump to file. Now upload this to your Arduino board. Select the board, select the old bootloader and select the port and now upload the code. After uploading open the serial monitor, select the baud rate and press the buttons of any of your remote and you will receive the hexadecimal values on your screen. So I am pressing all the buttons one by one which I want. This is the remote of my sound system so I am using volume up, volume down and mute button. After receiving values, you can see you will see a hexadecimal value over here. So copy this and paste it in a text file. We will use it later and save it. Now follow this circuit diagram and make your remote controller. In this circuit diagram, I am showing you 10 button connections. But in this video, I will be using only 4 buttons. So if you want, you can use all of 10. The code is for all the 10 buttons. After completing the connection part, connect your Arduino board to your computer. Now open my code. 
so here are all the pins defined we are using IR send to send the values and over this line you will find this hexadecimal values so you have to replace this hexadecimal values with the one you noted before so copy one by one and paste it over here so these are all the hexadecimal values which we received from our original remote controllers now select the board that is arduino nano select the port and upload the code now this breadboard connections are so messy so i'm using 80 tiny 85 to make our remote more compact and follow the circuit diagram to connect your 80 tiny with arduino to make it simpler i am designing my own pcb to program our 80 tiny 85 microcontroller so to order our pcbs i am visiting jlcpcb.com so first sign in with your google id then click on code now and add your gearware file over here link to download this gearware file is in the description down below now after uploading you can select the quantity and color of your pcb and simply place your order quality of this PCBs is extremely good. So now we'll quickly place our components and start soldering this PCB. So after soldering all the components we will connect this shield to our Arduino Uno board and we will connect the 80 tiny 85 microcontroller and all this thing to our computer and program it. So after programming, our 80 tiny 85 microcontroller is ready to work. So I'm using this zero PCB board and design my PCB with five buttons. So after soldering all the connections, my PCB is ready. So this is a compact remote for all the devices. Now we'll connect 80 tiny 85 to this. To power over this tiny remote controller, I'm using this battery. It is a very compact battery. So now let's test it. So it's working fine. I'm able to change the color of my LED strip behind my desk. Also, I am able to control the volume of my speakers. So friends, I hope you like this small project. Then do hit that like button and also share this video with your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.